Hello, thank you so much for coming to this video today. I really appreciate it. This is the weekly recap on my channel. I try to get all the information that you've missed in Cardano and put it in one short video so you can stay up to date without having to dive into Twitter for 24 hours a day. That's what I'm here for. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Vazel hard fork, where SPOs, we are actually one step closer to the Vazel hard fork, and I'm gonna tell you why in this video. SPOs are there, we are waiting on exchanges now, but more on that later. We're gonna be going into what is the Vazel hard fork very briefly, I'm sure many of you know, where we're at, where we're going, and when is Vazel coming, and also what is Vazel gonna bring. On top of that, we've also got a news article from Coindesk that's actually on IOG's research lab. They were working with Stanford, which is really exciting news. We're also gonna be going into Mithril, a new proof of concept was released. It was open source. It's gonna be a good video. We're also gonna be talking about the World Mobile Token. If you guys enjoy it, please click the like button, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and all. Please, if you could, share these videos out. The YouTube channel has not been doing good lately. This bear market has been hard on us, and all you gotta do is click some buttons, and that'll boost us right up so we can bring more great videos to the Cardano community. Also, the Rare Bloom, the largest Cardano community event ever hosted, is only 45 days away now. We've got Charles Hoskinson, DC Spark, Singularity Net, Ben Gortzel, and all of the great projects you've heard on, on Cardano. Dono. Tickets and hotel rooms are available now, so make sure you guys get those booked before plane tickets get too high. Let's jump right into the video today. So let's start with a fun piece of the video from Mr. Telecoms, the founder of World Mobile Token. What is World Mobile? World Mobile's goal is to connect the unconnected. Cardano's goal was always to bank the unbanked. There are billions of people unbanked in this world, but there are also billions of people unconnected. And in a world where we wanna you know, bank the unbanked, how can we do that if they don't have access to the internet? These new financial applications and opportunities are all done through the internet. So we can't, you know, Bank the Unbanked without World Mobile connecting the unconnected, and that is their mission. And I really like World Mobile. Uh, I really, and no financial advice here, I'm not saying buying it. I like the mission, I like the idea. I like what they're trying to do for the world. And I think World Mobile is a great example of what crypto can do for the world. And it also fits you know, Cardano's you know, narrative and its goal just perfect, like a puzzle piece. So they're, they're doing a lot of different things to bring connectivity to people. And this is one unique one here that I that we're gonna get into today, an Aerostat. And here's a, tell, a tweet directly from the man, the myth, the legend himself. Aerostat launching is near. Mooring station is installed, payload ready to rock, we fly high. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this real quick here. Let me mute the, mute the audio for you. So there it is. This is, this is the Aeroscat, we'll, we'll, we'll skip through it a little bit so you can see the rest of it. So pretty exciting stuff. Let's actually go into some more details about the connectivity that this Aerostat is gonna bring to the world. So we're gonna go very briefly into the Aerostat and see what value they provide. And this is an article from January. So it's nice to see this article release in January and they're already making progress by the eighth month of the year, almost on the ninth. Tethered balloon company Alteros has partnered with the blockchain-based telecom company World Mobile to provide balloon-based wireless connectivity in Africa. Under the agreement, two companies will launch the Alteros Aerostats to provide internet coverage to Zanzibar. And Zanzibar is right off the coast of Africa there. The companies say Aerostats can cover 8,000 square kilometers. Each of its super towers can cover the same area as around 15 terrestrial cell towers. So in theory, the rollout of a single blimp could cover most of Zanzibar's six, 1,666 square kilometer Yunguya, sorry, I'm very uncultured. I'm an American. I haven't traveled yet. I'm getting there. I'll be able to pronounce things great for you in the future, I promise. It plans to have 20 mesh sites, local Wi-Fi nodes rolled out by January 2022, 120 sites during the first six months of 2022, including the first balloon launch. The rollout will cover approximately 75 of the island and uh, this is pretty exciting to me. I mean, this is actually going to bring connectivity to people that don't have it. You know, there's there's something very beautiful to me about, you know, connecting Africa because of the exponential value that we be, will be provided from it. 
Uh, it's like in America, when you build the first, you know, freeway across it that connects the states, it brings value to certain states. And, you know, once you build the second one, it's not as valuable. The value that World Mobile will bring to Africa is exponential because that infrastructure is already not there. So more updates to World Mobile coming soon. Uh, as always, you know, I love World Mobile. We're going to be talking more about it, but let's go into the next part of the video. IOG, the developers of Cardano, hopefully not the only developer moving forward. Hopefully there'll be multiple development firms building on Cardano, and I hope that I run one of those. And they've actually funded $4.5 million to a research hub, a blockchain research hub at Stanford University. And this isn't the only uh, you know, funding that they've done. They've actually opened research labs and collaboration projects with the University of Edinburgh, the University of Wyoming, the University of Athens, the Tokyo Institute of Technology. And not only that, Charles himself donated $20 million to the Carnegie Mellon University to establish the Hoskinson Center of Formal Mathematics. And Stanford's actually located in California and it's a hotbed of tech innovation. And they actually opened the Blockchain Research Lab in 2018. IOG has not only been collaborating with them in recent history, they've also been collaborating for some time. Before the research hub, and this is directly from Tim Harrison at IOG, they actually donated 500K to fund the research of blockchain scalability. As one of the world's leading academic institutions, Stanford is an ideal location for this blockchain hub. So they also asked Tim Harrison, you know, is this going to be used to promote Cardano or, you know, things like Haskell, which is Cardano's programming language. And Tim Harrison responds and states that this is actually to fund researchers from multiple disciplinary backgrounds. So no, it's not only just for Cardano. They're actually looking to push blockchain research forward in this space. Working with the likes of Stanford to set up a blockchain research hub is key to IOG's vision, said Charles Hoskinson. With the research hub, blockchain development can grow even faster based on the new learnings that will emerge, and the hub will add a new layer of validity to our sector that we haven't always been afforded, Hoskinson said in a statement. Healthy competition is a vital part of any growing industry, but especially in its early days. Every player also needs to play its part in a growing ecosystem as a whole, said Tim Harrison. Researchers at the university will be able to put forward innovative projects that will impact the entire blockchain industry. I personally think this is great. I don't think that we should sit in our own siloed community in crypto. And I think that Cardano's approach to using academic rigor and peer review before building out code really speaks to academia. And I think it's a, it's important for Cardano to have this place or for IOG to you know fund research labs and continue pushing academia forward because I think that'll pay off dividends in the future. Uh, in, in the same way that Charles going to Congress and speaking about our industry did, it's this is a very good look for Cardano and it's also valuable for the world. It's not only PR and good look. I mean, they're funding real research into what we all know and love, which is, you know, crypto, cryptography. Uh, so very exciting. Let's go on to the next bit. So we got a tweet from Cardano with Paul. Love Cardano with Paul. We got to do a video soon, my man, if you're watching this. I always appreciate it when you tune in. I appreciate when you guys all tune in. I really do. I love doing this stuff and I've been getting back into it. If you've noticed the, the more uploads lately. So the Vazel hard fork is coming. What is the Vazel hard fork? Vazel is the largest upgrade that's ever come to Cardano, the largest hard fork. And a lot of utility is going to be added to Cardano, like reference scripts and, and the list goes on. A lot of these uh, you know, upgrades and updates were requested directly from developers building on Cardano to then release their applications when the hard fork is ready. So stating that, think about what's going to happen after the Vazel hard fork, probably not day one, but the next few months after that, uh, we're going to see, you know, a huge amount of utility being added to Cardano from the projects that are launching. And on Cardano, there's a software that we all use. When you're using the Eternal Wallet or any wallet, uh, there's a piece of software called Cardano-Node. Cardano-Node is what actually connects you to the network, and it's what allows you to actually submit transactions to the network and, and use the network. When these hard forks come, you actually have to download a new upgrade version uh, you know, for Vazel. If you're just using a wallet, don't worry about it. You know, you may get an upgrade, but you'll just update it like normal. This is specifically for stake pool operators, exchanges, and developers. 75% of the stake has to be on the new upgrade version relative to SPOs 
before the network itself can actually upgrade. So it's really up to the SBOs to decide, do we wanna to upgrade to this new version? Do we think it's ready? Do, th do we think it's capable? And if 75% of SBOs upgrade, that's saying yes, we do. And we have passed that milestone now. 75% of all SPOs have upgraded to the new node version. Bloom, for example, uh, you know, my stake pool, minted the eighth block on Cardano. If you're looking for a good stake pool, there you go. Um, you know, we've, we've upgraded. We're good to go. So over 75% are there. However, there's one party that is very important, and those are exchanges. And exchanges... We've got about three already upgraded, so shout out to the three. And then again, shout out to Cardano with Paul here. Here's the rest of the list of exchanges. We don't need all of them to upgrade, but especially the big ones. Um, we're getting close on. We need 80% uh, to do this and you know, important ones like Coinbase, Binance. Coinbase hasn't even started, what the hell? I mean, it took them a year to list eight. Hopefully it doesn't take a year for Vazel. Uh, but we've got a lot of exchanges starting here and we are moving day by day closer to Vazel and I'm looking forward to it. Are you guys looking forward to it? Let me know down below. Always love to hear your thoughts. That is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment down below. If you made it till the end, please type Vazel is near. Please Coinbase, please. And please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all share it with your friends. We got to get this YouTube algorithm pumping. We're actually going down in subscribers. I know it's my fault. Uh, also the bear market as well, but I'm going to be working hard to make sure I can bring more content to you guys and bring more people into the Cardano community. Cause that's always been my goal, making this blockchain accessible for people, educating people and growing this blockchain as a whole. There's a lot more work to do. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Thanks as always. I really do appreciate it.